This short video will show you how to check out pre-catalogued items in Sitka Evergreen. Evergreen can circulate uncatalogued items using the quick pre-catalogued function, which creates minimal records linked to temporary barcodes at checkout. Pre-catalogued items, also referred to as pre-cats, can be used to circulate interlibrary loan items from a third-party ILL system, such as Outlook or Phil, or to circulate rush items that have not been fully catalogued. First, you will need to retrieve the patron account, click circulation and select checkout items, or use the checkout button on your toolbar, or use keyboard shortcut F1. Scan the patron barcode and hit submit. Scan the barcode for the pre-cat item and hit submit. When using pre-cats, we recommend that you have a set of barcodes that you recycle to avoid creating hundreds of pre-cats in the system. These pre-cat barcodes may take the form of barcoded cards that are scanned and attached to the item while it circulates. So a pop-up is going to appear. Um, click on pre-cataloged. You will fill in the, the fields based on your library's policy. Title and circ modifier are required. Some libraries enter the title all in caps so that you can see at a glance in the items out screen that the item is a pre-cat. Now it is important to know which circ modifier your library uses for pre-cats or interlibrary loans. The due date will be calculated based on the circu mo circulation modifier chosen and then just hit check out. The item will be checked out and you'll see on the items out screen that the title appears all in caps. The due date has been calculated based on the circulation modifier. When the item is returned, scan the barcode in the check-in interface. You'll get a pop-up saying that the item needs to be routed to cataloging. Click OK. If the pre-cat was an interlibrary loan item, you'll return the item through your third-party interlibrary loan system using your normal procedures. If the pre-cat item belongs to your library and needs to be cataloged, this item will need to be routed to cataloging. We will cover this procedure in the next snippet video. Um, one tip, if you use barcode cards, we recommend that you have a designated spot to put cards so that they can be reused. Thank you for watching this video and for more information please visit the BC Libraries Cooperative website.